Radio. Welcome back everyone. Just a little update, whatever else. I'm going to put the, uh, the box all together. Yeah, yeah. There's not much to it really. Just drop the wheels back in. Put the wheels back in. Put the base plate back on. Like I said, it did have a window, but it was all scratched up and buggered. And, yeah, well, paying ten fifteen dollars here in Australia for just a plastic window and I think well most of them are vacuumed those vacuum pack ones or vacuum form ones sorry I think what's the point you could always glue in some plastic but yeah. looks just as good with them and like I said the I like the early dinkies that don't have any glass or steering wheels to worry about you just you know some of the other ones with little steering wheels look okay, you know, no problem with them either, but some of them are just fans of the early type, I suppose. These are just little self tappers, and they're very magnetic as well, by the looks. Yeah, this isn't turn out too bad. I might even just highlight those light, real lights just a tad more maybe, but other than that, uh, I don't mind it, looks alright. I've got a chrome there, and I think they have chrome strips down there, but... You know, it's my first one in a while that I've done. So, pretty happy with that. Um, here is one I did a little while ago, ages ago now, I might have done a video on it, maybe, I can't remember. Uh, this one here, they call it the Connaught, something like that. But um, the stickers I found in a box of uh, some of my modelling stuff. And so uh, they did have new tyres. But as you can see, after a while, there's tyres. I don't know what they're just uh, cheap rubber, but they just perish after a while as well. So maybe you have to go around and keep doing them. Or they might have been a bit small and I'll stretch them over these larger hubs. That could have been the reason as well, maybe. But. Yeah, it didn't turn out too bad. And uh, I got a parcel today of some dinky and corgis I picked up off a fella in Tasmania. Uh, so I've got this one here. Looks like someone's cleaned the bottom of it. So uh, but, uh, it's a nice little triumph. Like I said, these are, these are the ones I like the most, the, uh, the older style dinkies. And this little telephone. Telephone service. This is cool, so it would have to be my favourite so far. I'm looking like it just see underneath, it looks like you can take the ladder off and just needs it to be straightened up a bit, repainted, and I mean, it'll look quite nice once it's finished. So that one. And the Sunbeam Alpine, which I've had one of these before, and that windscreen, I don't think it's just a windscreen, it just looks like a bit of plastic, someone stuck in there. But she's still got the steering wheel, which is cool. So that'd be a nice little resto job eventually. Tires aren't too bad, I could probably do with some new ones, but they'll be fine for now. And then a couple of Corgis, this Mercedes 300 SL Roadster. It wasn't too bad, it's got a little crack in the bottom of the windscreen, which I might be able to cut out and add a little bit in there later. Let's see how we go. But, uh, you know. Just to buy the glass for him now is it's getting a bit ridiculous, so that's a cool little car. Um, got the tractor and trailer, this is nice. There seems to be all there that I know of. So it's pretty cool. Oh, I might be, I don't know, it looks like it's all there. So that's that one, and then the tractor looks pretty cool as well. Maybe eventually I might restore it, I'll just leave it as it is for now. Tires are really good on it, considering. Maybe one or two stress cracks in them, but other than that, it's pretty good for its age. This is the beam replacement tonight, I don't know. And then I've got this one, which I'm not a big fan of the Wiz wheels. This was in the box as well. I thought it might have had, I thought it was something else when I looked at the picture. But, considering it's probably what, late 70s, 80s maybe, it's not too bad, it's all there still, but... Can't go ahead of it before, but it's still got the little mirror there. Um, 
Yeah, it comes open on the side. Oops, sorry, focus. Yeah. So I think the the lights come out to maybe redo them. I don't know. But for what it is, it's not bad. I could always probably change the wheels up later on if I really wanted to, or just see. Yeah, there wasn't more people here in Australia that you know, mainly where I live anyway, that did swaps and whatever else. Because I'm always up for trade and stuff. Anyway, well, that's what I've got. Anyway, people, I've got a couple more coming. So, but yeah, I'll just show you what else I've got added to the collection and what I'll be restoring eventually. I'm not going to say I'm a great story, but I just enjoy doing them. Like I said, I enjoy these really old cars. So. I don't have a magic roundabout like Martin, but I do that really slowly, it's pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Bye bye.